Now, what does it take to win an Olympic gold medal? Well, physical fitness is a big factor, but it's the power of the mind which can often get you over the line. Olympic volleyballers Natalie Cook and Kerry Pothast used a life coach to help them achieve gold in the 2000 Games. His name is Karek Ashley and he joins us now along with half of the gold medal winning duo, <laughs> Kerry Pothast. Kerry, good morning to good you. Good morning. How are you guys? Just good. tell us about it. Why did you pick up a life coach? Well, we actually call Kirik our success coach because we won a bronze medal in Atlanta and uh, we knew that we had we needed something di different, something yeah. extra. And we had our body covered, our, our volleyball skills covered and we wanted to really cover every everything we could and we needed to have that little bit extra. We, need, we needed to look at our fears and doubts and see how we could overcome those and push our limits and he certainly did. Kirik, <laughs> what does that mean then to us non-athletes? What's the difference? What do you do that athletes themselves can't? Well, an athlete can only be as good as their body. Uh, you can only train your body to be so big or so strong. It's your mind that is limitless. And so literally wherever your head goes, your body follows. And a lot of athletes will talk about what they don't want and their fears and their doubts, but that starts to amplify on you. When you start to talk about where you're going, you really laser in on, on the achievement of the goal, you'll notice that you get there. So tell us about Natalie and Kerry leading mm. up to Sydney 2000. What did you, what did you do for them? How did, how did you help them? Well, the first thing I worked on was their emotional state. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of energy being wasted on arguing and yelling at the refs and each other. And <laughs> oh, really? No. Uh, yelling at our coach. Uh, I kind of know what it was like to work with John McEnroe. And <laughs> Come on. So we, we got them to focus all that energy, instead of wasting it on a lot of different areas, mm. to focus that just on going for the gold and nothing else. Um, then beyond that, it was literally working on their belief systems about overcoming fear so that when they were at the gold medal match, because I can't be there with them, that they could have the skills and tools to engage themselves to play at another level, even if you were behind in the points. So how does walking on hot coals and broken glass do that? Because I know that was something <laughs> that you did, and then we've got a big blanket of broken glass here in the studio, which is terrifying <laughs> me. How does that work? Well, we actually, t I take tens of thousands of people across coals and broken glass every year at our programs. It's really a metaphor for what you think is impossible truly isn't. And once you make it across the other side, you're not injured, there's no damage, there's nothing wrong with you. Your brain goes, no, wait a minute, if I can do that, that I thought was impossible, what else have I been telling myself is impossible that's been holding me back from achieving what I want? Is that how you felt? Right? Exactly. I mean, going into the Sydney Olympics, the Brazilians had beaten us 16 times out mm. of 17 matches. So we had that doubt. We really did think that, that they were unbeatable. Until we started doing things that really pushed us past our limits and our comfort zone and things like the glass. I mean, we stood in front of the glass and we cried and, you know, or Natalie particularly, she was so scared of doing it. I'm the type of person that sees someone do it and then go, well, I can do that. Mm. So when Kirik did it, I was I trusted that I could actually do it and so when I saw other people um, winning games and beating um, the Brazilians then I started to believe and this sort of thing really helped push me past my my limits and get out of that comfort zone. Kerry what was your first thought when Kirik said I want you to walk across this broken glass? <laughs> you crazy? Uh, we can't done... see some of those things. <laughs> <laughs> was that your first thought this morning Brett? Yeah. Did you mention that you're going to be doing it? When I Absolutely. asked you to do yeah. it. No way. Do it with us? Can you do it? Can you demonstrate it for us? Yeah. And can I yes. just say in big headlines don't do this at home boys yeah, and girls and mums and dads and I'm not going to do it I think someone needs to sit here and supervise. Um, yeah. But this is real glass. This is real glass. This yeah. is real glass. It was actually more fun drinking. To get those empty bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, now, really? Kira, tell Is us about gonna... it. What's, what's the secret? What, what are you thinking now as, as you get ready for it? Well, the metaphor for the glass is that in life there are risks. There are perils in life. And um, it's about relaxing and letting yourself go and just letting everything go peaceful with you. And you'll realize that um, you can even enjoy the perils of life. And then it's about making a transformation of saying who you are on this side and who you're going to become on that side. But, sorry to be a bit... Uh, a silly question here, but why won't it cut your feet to shreds? Like it's chunks uh, of broken glass sticking out. Yeah, it, well, oh, that's a sharp piece. How did that one get in there? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's because uh, we, we really limit ourselves to what we say we can do or not. And once you make it across, it's, you're, you'll notice that you become one with the glass. Your feet literally form over the glass oh. and mold with it. Of course, right. if we slipped on it and jumped on it and went crazy, right. we'd cut ourselves. But yeah. we have to trust. Or if you did this at home with no supervision. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And you're not going to hold us responsible for anything. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. All right, great. All right. <laughs> when you're ready. Oh. 
No. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nothing. It's my blood. No cuts. My, my goodness. Oh, I haven't done this for sure? a long time, okay. actually. Uh, so, all I want you to do again, Kerry, is you're an ultimate champion. Who are you on this side? And who are you on this side? Breathe, relax, and walk with each step with certainty. Great. Make sure oh. there's no bits on there. There's one bit. I'll just take that off. Holy <laughs> well <Julie. done. laughs> That's a good. Now, definitely don't try That's this at scary. home. You said last time the conference call you were going to do it. Yeah, I changed my mind okay. about five minutes ago. You, know. I must have been you want to go? That is a good. No, no quick look. I'll, I'll sit it out. I'm convinced, though. That, that, that is amazing. Nice. Well, it is. And it, and it really is. It's not about the glass. It's about mm. doing something that you believe is impossible. And we all have limits. We all limit our beliefs. We all, we all stop ourselves from doing things in life. And when you do something like that, you go, wow, you know, that wasn't too bad at all. That was easy. Wow. All I did was take the steps. And well, that's what we have to do in we, life, we, take the steps. Yeah. We didn't even do it. And I feel great. Well, <laughs> I feel empowered. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I know do why it. you won a gold medal. Yeah. Yeah. You're available next <laughs> weekend. I have a man. firewalk seminar on. Oh, do you? We have a two-day program here He's in free. Sydney. He's free. Yeah, I'm so coming? not free to it. Everybody firewalks at the end of it. Nobody has to, but they can. Wow. And That's I must say, Kirik is amazing, and without him, we definitely wouldn't have won the yeah. gold medal. No, it was a whole team effort. Myself, Natalie, Steve Anderson, Phil, Phil Moreland, and Kirik. It was all part what of it. What a great endorsement to have. Yeah. Well, good Thank on you. you. Brilliant. Thanks for coming in. Very Thank you much. very much amazing. for having us. I'm still right. looking for signs of blood, but there's none. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. It's amazing. And you can find more information about uh, Kirik Ashley on our website. Check it out. Now coming